Hello, and how you doing? Good to see you here. Let's get right to it. Come on. Usher has been pretty involved in the real estate game, apparently selling three of his houses in 2019 alone. But where does that leave him living? While I try and piece that together, we'll take a look at his mansions in Hollywood, Atlanta, and much more. We even have some of the listings. Usher Raymond IV, who we can just call Usher, is a singer, actor, businessman, and dancer. Although he wasn't born in Georgia, in his younger years he did spend most of his time in Atlanta once he moved, which is likely why he continued to own multiple properties in the state as well. Usher rose to fame in the late 1990s and only got more popular as the 2000s came along. I can't be the only one who remembers getting his posters in those J14 magazines. Confessions established Usher as one of the best-selling artists of the decade and the album contained four consecutive chart-topping singles. He's of course kept working since, now having sold over 100 million records worldwide. The singer also found time to become a dad and clearly has spent a lot of his time with his kids recently, especially during the global quarantine. At the time of this recording, Usher's net worth sits at around 180 mil. Some gossip sites have said he had to unload so many of his properties due to certain scandals, but it seems like the man is still rich, so I'm not too sure that's true. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Since I always read my comments from you guys, I've seen Usher's name pop up more than once, so today we'll be looking at where the singer has called home over the years. Like I said, he sold a handful of properties recently, so it's hard to keep up, but we'll check out his mansions in LA, Atlanta, and much more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours and likes of Ludacris and Chris Rock, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. In 2018, Usher let go of the first mansion he bought at the beginning of his career, a home that wowed him as a teen and a place he vowed to buy one day when he could afford it. The mansion was located in Alpharetta, Georgia, in the guarded gates of the posh country club of the South, about 30 miles from downtown Atlanta. Usher first laid eyes on the home back in 1991 when he was 13, and it belonged to legendary music producer L.A. Reid. Usher then bought the property for $1.2 million from Reid's ex-wife in 1999. Usher said about the home, I came into this house and I remember walking through it, just being mesmerized by everything I saw, and it was like, one day I want to own a house like this. I ended up buying this house. House. There's history in it. My history lies in this house. His previous starter estate sat on a perfectly landscaped lot that covered just shy of an acre. Inside the super customized three-story mansion, it spanned 10,823 square feet of living space with seven beds, seven full baths, and three half baths. Although the home was built in 1988, it was of course extensively remodeled since and made into a much more open floor plan with the master suite on the main level. Even while Usher called the mansion home, he made a lot of changes, which we can see comparing his old MTV tour with recent photos. The interior of Usher's home post remodel had hardwood floors and rustic reclaimed wood mantles around each of the three fireplaces. The grand double height entryway steps down to one of the living rooms with wood plank shelves and an open hallway on the second floor allowed for view of the living room. Of course, Usher also had a music room. One of the living rooms here had a brick fireplace and built-in shelves. Moving to the deluxe kitchen, you can see how much work has been put into it. There's a large center island with built-in snack bars, state-of-the-art appliances, and two informal dining spaces, both of which have bay windows surrounding them and are full of sunlight. Three guest bedrooms on the upper floor share a couple bathrooms, and then tucked behind the kitchen, there's a spacious guest suite with deluxe marble bath. The main floor master suite Usher occupied was nothing short of impressive either. He had a cozy seating nook with fireplace, custom fit walk-in closet, and soaking tub that was entirely open to the bedroom. Then the separate bathroom area here had a Dutch door opening to a private terrace. Well, it's definitely come a long way since then, Usher. There also used to be that part of the home upstairs dedicated to Usher's mom, but it's changed in design since then. Fans would probably be impressed with Usher's home dance studio, complete with floor-to-ceiling mirrors and a state-of-the-art sound system. This was located in the detached guest house, where there was ample space and had everything, including two beds, 3.5 baths, a kitchen, and living room. A finished lower level in Usher's main house opens up to the terrace outside and has a huge concrete floored theater slash music room with sunken seating area, a yoga studio and even a spa bath with shower area, multi-person dry sauna and a pair of soaking tubs. Other outdoor features on his property included plenty of patio space, a swimming pool, built-in grill and playground for the kids, even with a fancy climate-controlled treehouse. 
Despite all the work and heart Usher put into this home, years later, even he had to say goodbye. He started with an asking price of over 2 million, but sadly ended up selling the mansion for only 1.5 mil. That wasn't the only property Usher got rid of in Georgia recently either. Shortly after, in 2019, he sold another one of his homes. This time it was his modern style house close to Mercedes-Benz Stadium in the heart of Atlanta. He bought this place in 2007 for 970 k and decided to sell it before he filed for divorce with his second wife, Grace Miguel. Inside the modern house, it spans 2,908 square feet with three beds and three baths. It's not as big and lavish as the Alpharetta mansion we just looked at, but it's still sleek and spacious. The contemporary home features plenty of windows and simple interiors throughout with a neutral color scheme in the bathrooms. A chic blue color was chosen for some of the bedrooms and at least one had bunk beds likely used for Usher's two sons. Much of the open concept home was painted black inside but the large window and sliding glass doors out to the balconies provide views of the greenery outside and natural light. Light hardwood floors and white ceilings also brighten up the home. The dark palette continues in the kitchen where you'll find a large black and white marble island with built-in bar and a mix of black cabinets and open shelving. Downstairs, there's a bedroom attached to a large space which appears to have been used as a kid's playroom. One of the bathrooms features a large chalkboard wall, perfect for little ones to leave drawings. There's also a unique oval shaped tub here. The Atlanta house also features an incredible rooftop deck to take in sights of the city. The new owner of Usher's Atlanta home appears to have gotten a good deal. Considering the location, size of the house, and all of the modern features, the selling price of $775,000 was a steal. Unfortunately, Usher also lost a couple hundred K on the sale too. Finally, the third property Usher decided to get rid of was his gorgeous Spanish style villa in Hollywood that records show he purchased for 3.3 million around 2016. This home was located just a block from West Hollywood Sunset Strip and overlooked the famous Chateau Marmont. The gorgeous villa was built in the 1920s and has been artfully restored, while keeping many of the original details including stenciled beams and handcrafted ironwork. This was blended with modern features and upgrades, creating a home perfect for today's lifestyle. Usher's Hollywood Villa spanned 4,261 square feet inside and had 5 beds and 6 baths. It was recently renovated with top-of-the-line finishes, which are noticeable in listing photos. Walking in, you're greeted with a grand double-height entryway with large window overhead and staircase leading to the upper level. The style of the foyer seems to be polished glamour with jet black walls and decorated with contemporary art. Just past that entry, the main level of Usher's villa had plenty of beautifully redecorated common spaces. The living room here marries the old and the new with a stainless steel fireplace and wooden ceiling beams original to the home. There are two sets of arched French doors that fill the room with light and open to Juliet balconies with another set leading to a patio and views of the treetops. His formal dining room follows the same stylish dark color scheme as the entry with deep purple floral wallpaper and matching curtains. This room leads you to the chef's kitchen which is brighter with white marble and new viking appliances as well as a cozy breakfast area. Two guest bedrooms and a full bath share the upper level of Usher's Hollywood home with his master suite. The master suite is also painted black and opens to a private terrace and has a spacious marble bath with dual vanities and two person soaking tub with a city view. The lowest level of his previous villa includes a state of the art home movie theater with plush velvet curtains as well as a family room that leads out to a deck over the pool. There's a plunge sized swimming pool and according to the listing that deck can be moved to expose the pool. There are also multiple dining and sunning terraces and two ensuite guest bedrooms with outside entries, perfect for live-in staff. Not to mention there's also a fitness room slash meditation studio on the property. Although this gorgeous 1920s villa served Usher well and was in a prime Hollywood location, according to records he parted with it. He listed it for somewhere around 4.2 million at one point, but apparently sold it closer to what he originally paid at 3.3 mil, not making much of a sale. So now we've taken a look at some of Usher Raymond's properties over the years and I gotta say I loved his taste. There was his first Georgia mansion that seems to me like he manifested, the simple and modern Atlanta house, and the gorgeous Spanish villa in Hollywood we just looked at. Since he sold all these homes in under a year I believe, where does that even leave Usher living? 
by the looks of his TikTok and Instagram, wherever he's at still looks like a luxury home. Maybe he's renting until he finds another dream house to invest in. If you guys know more details about Usher's current living situation, be sure to let me know. After seeing all his homes, which was your fave? I found it hard to choose between the original Georgia mansion, especially after it was redecorated and updated, and the Hollywood home but I think I'm gonna go with the Hollywood one. I just love the style of the villa, how they kept some of the original fixings from 1926, and even the black painted rooms. It was super cool. Listen, I hope you guys had a wonderful time in the wonderful world of you. This is my humble home. Thank you, it was a pleasure having you here. We ain't gotta go home. But you gotta get the hell out of here. Anyways, you guys let me know which was your fave down in the comments, as well as what other celeb homes I should do. Don't forget to like, hit subscribe, and follow me over on Instagram, and I'll see you all in the next vid. Bye!